separatist vehicles. Alright, first up we got the tri droid. Now it's really cool to get one of these, especially in a battle pack. Now you can move its legs and when you push away, like you can move it right here. And then you can move it this joint. Oh, it's not that easy to see. But and then you can move it right here. So here, here, and here. And then you can also spin the head. And you also got foot fire missiles right here. So, really good. Improvement from the last one. Next we got the staff speeder. It's pretty basic. What's the battle droid comes with? Two curved arms. And then a backpack for his gun. So yeah. Now here's a comparison to the advent calendar one. So, as you can see, it's a little bit taller than the advent calendar one. Even when the advent calendar is raised up to its height, it's still taller. And this one is just better. I mean, this is a good build for an advent calendar, but this one's still better. Republic builds. First up, we got a crate. It's got a little bomb inside. As you can see right here. And we also got a bark speeder. It's not that good compared to the 2020 bark speeder and the 501st quad trooper pack. But I like how you got a person shooting on the back, you got stud shooters on the side, you got clone trooper driving. Let's compare the two. Size difference. This one's bigger. So it has two stud shooters on the front. Yes, I know it's a little dusty. Came with there's one clipper, clone trooper on the thing. It also has uh, weapon holders, but so does this one. But overall, I think this one's better just because of the size. But this one's still really good. I actually love this one. It just needs to be a bit bigger. Next up, we got this little base, a stud shooter. Got two shields that can be removed. Got two weapon holders. Yeah. And let's compare it to the advent calendar one. Alright, here's the advent calendar one. Now, of course, it came with a minifigure. And same gun. No weapon holder, though. Just like a little clone base. Overall, I think this one's better. And obviously, this one came with a minifigure, too. But you can't place them down like you can on the advent calendar one. And speaking of minifigures, we're moving on to the minifigures. Alright, starting off with the B2 Super Battle Droid, got a new design. Now, it might be hard to tell, but we got a new design for them. Not only on the front and the sides, but also on the back. I love these Battle Droids way better. And hopefully they won't fall apart as easy as the old ones did. So yeah, those are the B2 Super Battle Droids for you. Next up we got the B1 Battle Droid. There's two of these ones on the Stap Speeder. Now this one has two straight arms and the other one has two curved arms. So they're just standard Battle Droids, nothing new. And of course we got three of these standard Clone Troopers. Looking pretty good. No side or arm printing. But yeah. There's that, that. I know you're like, oh, how many holes? Yeah, whatever. And then here's our shock trooper. Now, this one's pretty good. I like it. Gains small blaster and binoculars. Sadly, no arm printing. Just torso printing and helmet printing. So, yeah. There's your shock trooper. Now, onto the belt and the set itself. Now the clone side is pretty lackluster compared to the droid side, but I mean, it's kind of expected because, I mean, after all, droids haven't gotten a battle pack in years. I think it's been since like 2015 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. So in this fight, I'd say the droid can definitely win. I mean, yeah. So yeah. 
but now onto the droid side. Now the droids have the advantage, the advantage, and um, yeah, scale wise, pretty good. Scale wise, for the clone side, pretty good, except for on the speeder. Um, the only downside is um, this is not scale to the actual size, so that's pretty sad. But if you open up the head of this, you'll find this little brain. So as you can see, I've opened it up in there. Little Easter egg for the people who built it. So yeah, worth thirty-two dollars or thirty dollars. Yes, pretty good battle pack. One of my favorites. Yes. Will this maybe be the best battle pack ever? Probably not. And pretty good set for twenty twenty-four. Now this released January first, twenty twenty-four. As of filming this, this is January second. 2024, so yeah, pretty good battle pack, I'd buy it, which, I mean, obviously I did, and when it goes down in price later in the, later in the spring or something, that's the best time to make armies with it, so yeah, buy it, yes, buy it, if you have the money, buy it, very much worth it, please like and subscribe, no, I'm not forcing you to do this, because I'm not that kind of person, but please like and subscribe for more, peace.